With the versatility of our medical devices, one of the areas that we'll play in soon will be wildlife conservation. How cool is that? Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm the founder and CEO of Vivo Surgical, a surgical technology and robotics startup company in Singapore. We develop surgical technology and surgical robotics devices to address the emerging needs of Asia and the rest of the world. We work very closely with hospitals and research institutes to achieve our goal. So in our case, we figured there was a better way to actually build more intelligent but slightly more affordable devices that could be more rapidly implemented and adopted in the field. Our first product is the Claro. It's an in vivo surgical light for deep cavity surgeries. Our second product is the N-Light. It's a nasal pharyngoscope for screening purposes. And our third product is the Eris, the world's first flexible endoscopic surgical robot for deep and complex procedures along the gastrointestinal tract. Eris is compatible with any endoscope on the market and it can help the endoscopist perform challenging procedures faster and with a higher rate of success. In order to produce a medical device, there's different stages of prototyping and testing, which require a lot of resources and time. And that is why it's very important for us to protect any of our inventions. The plan would be to make sure we protect ourselves in as many jurisdictions as possible. But as a young company, cash is finite. One of the key IP challenges we faced was about balancing patent and trademark filing costs. We had to make a very informed decision as to which territories were good to have versus which were must-haves so that we could then plan the appropriate times to file within that product's life cycle. There were other IP-related strategies that we were acquainted with along the way, such as freedom to operate and pattern landscape searches, which we've been looking to apply in our work. Surgical robotics is a very exciting field to be in right now, and I think we're very glad to be right at the cusp of that development. Currently, we are present in Europe, in Asia, in the Middle East, and we are entering China and the US very soon. IP protection is important, especially for a medical technology business like ours, because it builds credibility that allows us to reach out to other larger players and they'll be interested to work with us knowing that we have that protection in place for the work that not only we do, but the work that they'll be doing with us in the future.